Dudes and dudettes of YouTube land, it's Frank with What's the Point EDC. Today we talk about three fixed blade knives and three folders that I love to pair together as a combo. Let's freaking get it. We're going to start off with the smallest to the biggest and uh, there's nothing really big. It's smaller stuff. This is going to be really fast paced. We're just going to rock this thing out. Kaiser Militol, you see it. Can't go wrong with that. White River Knife and Tool Firecraft 3.5 Pro with the real steel clip on it. Why do I like these? Because they look good, they pair good, and I freaking dig these knives. Kydex sheath, real steel clip. If you don't like it being long, you can customize it however you want. Really good stuff. S35 VN steel with a really high saber grind and a clip point with plenty of blade. We got a nice spot right there so you can throw your fire with a fire steel. We got nice jimping for your thumb, for your pointer finger. G10 scales, really good texturing on there. And we definitely have that carabiner ring for all my hunting friends out there. Good stuff. You cannot go wrong with this one right here. It looks good. It carries good. It's very compact. It is my most used EDC fixie, period. It's It just is. It's an awesome knife. Now, the Kaiser Militol, there's a lot to love about this knife. Action on point. Looks on point. Feel on point. Sounds on point. It's just a fire knife. I love it when you have micarta inlays on both sides, and this one has that with titanium. Titanium mill pocket clip, really nice bolster style lock that I'm not exactly sure what kind of lock it is, but it's awesome. Very fire bearings on this thing. Drop shut action, makes some awesome sounds. S35 VN steel with a flat grind, a good swedge, a nice stone wash finish that pairs these two together and looks so good. And in size, you see very good stuff right here this is a solid knife right here perfect jimping all the way around nice front flip action nice reverse flick action or if you're down with the thumb flicks you can get that one right there too two very solid knives you can't go wrong with either one of them that's pair number one let's go ahead and start with pair number two this is like lightning rounds you guys we got the survive knives edc for a magna cut you knew that was going to be on there oh and you knew the spider co pm2 and crew wearing my carta the crew carta the best pm2 in my humble opinion so two awesome knives here you cannot go wrong with good kydex sheath nice lashing points drainage hole right there i put the vibra tight on there shout out the guy it's a very solid sheath. If you want stealth carry, check this out. You can go very stealth. You ain't got no rattle, no nothing. Solid one right there. Okay, let's talk about it real quick. We got micarta scales being held in by T25 hardware that is also matched to the Cerakoting on the blade. Really nice Cerakoting's holding up good. Magna cut steel. We have an awesome saber ground blade right here. Drop point with a nice tip on it that is pokey enough to be very good and efficient but stout enough to take care of business. Same goes for the edge. It's nice and thin, but good enough that you don't have to worry about the magnet cut having any issues. I will link my hard use video in the description. You might wanna go check that out because I put this thing through hell. Nice crown spine that holds up good. Shadow boxed in scales. How can you not like this? Fuller's on both sides. Check that freaking lanyard, hidden lanyard tube out. That is the hog nose. I freaking dig it. Spider Co. PM2. You guys know I'm a big fan of uh, Crewwear. It's in my top five. Now I have now I have top six favorite steels now, <laughs> thanks to L Max. <laughs> yeah, that got that Survive Knives EDC for an L Max. It changed me. I had to add a sixth one to the list. It's no longer five, but this is the best PM2 in my humble opinion. This micarta is so good. Now mine is extremely extremely dirty. I didn't really clean my eyes off. Sorry about that, but. Let's talk about the blade here. What we got is crew wear, like 64, 65 HRC. I don't remember where it is. Nice edge. As in all Spider Coast steels, it's heat treated excellently. And it's got good edge geometry. And they laid the edge degree back to like 17 degrees, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Nice jimping right here for the thumb ramp. Jimping right here for your choil. Works good for good tasks. Nice point with a tad bit of belly. Really good knife. Spider Coast aren't for everybody, but I'm going to tell you what. When you put one in your hand, you use it, you realize how good that they are. Reversible, tip up, tip down, left or right hand carry clip. You know it. I don't like this clip. I just, I don't. Everybody knows how I feel, but I need to change it out. I do like the logo and that it matches as in it's shiny <laughs> with the blade and the liners. Look at them liners right there. A little bit of skeletonizing, a little something, something right there. Compression lock is fired. This bad boy runs on washers. 
Such a fire knife. You cannot go wrong with this knife. It's good. Everything about it's fire. When you put these two together, you got two hellaciously great knives. Can't go wrong with either one of them. On to the next pair. Told y'all it's speed rounds today. Oh, we got the Bark River Cub. You know that. And we got the Send Cut Glide Strike. And the Send Cut Glide Strike. Let's go ahead and just start with this one right here. $41. This is the best under $50 knife that I have ever held, used, anything. It is awesome. I highly recommend people go check this out. Everybody who has gotten one, when they hit me up, they say, dude, that was an awesome freaking purchase. I am so glad I got that. And I'm like, oh yeah, I know. Trust me. 9CR18 MOV steel. We have a high saber grind. You can almost call it flat grind with this swedge right here. I don't know what you want to call it, but it is swedged. Nice clip point blade right there. Look at this. Plunge grind way back here. You got so much sharpening to do. It's nice and thin behind the edge. It's nice and pokey. It does what pocket knives need to do. It's efficient. My carta is great. Chamfered all the way around. Look at that. Drop shut action. Oh, yeah. This thing is definitely running on bearings. There's no questions about that. It's a looker. It is awesome. I'm digging it. The pocket clip has flush mount screws, though it is not an inset clip. It It's awesome. It goes in and out of my pocket. Perfect little almost a hidden style lanyard right there but look at this bam what the only complaint that i have and it's not a complaint it's just i wish we had a little bit more lock access though it is it is textured and jimped up but see what i'm saying i got i gotta put my thumb in there right there because i can't get it but it's so good no matter what way you deploy it it's fire pair that up with the bark river cub you got you a freaking pair Look at that sheath. Come on now. Bark River sheaths. Seriously. Look at that. Bam. Bark River. Bark River. This is awesome. I freaking dig some leather sheaths. I, I like Kydex and I like leather. I don't know which one I like more. I like them both so much. Here we go. Looky freaking looky. Bark River 3V Cub. What the what? Nice micarta scales. Brass pens. Brass tube. Contoured on them micarta scales. Look at that. Come on now, locks you in this way, holding it like this. Oh, we want to flip her around in a reverse grip. Look at that. Bam, locks you in. Nice clip point blade right here with a swedge. Fuller's on both sides. A true zero degree edge convex. Damn, if that ain't freaking awesome. I dig a zero degree convex edge. Them true convexes do it for me. They do have some jimping that I wish they extended out to about right here, but that's okay. I totally accept it. It's a very solid knife. You can get a lot of stuff done with it. It has it has a good tip, but it's it's nothing like this tip. This tip is way more efficient, way more pokey. It's going to get more done as far as intricate task. This is going to get, you want to get some shit done, go ahead and get this. I mean, it is still a thin tip, and it is distal tapered, which is pretty cool because I didn't know Barker ever did distal tapers. Um, so for those of you who don't know what a distal taper is, let me just show you real quick. This is distal taper, how the blade actually... It comes in thinner and it doesn't just go boop. See what I'm saying? Distal. I might just be wasting my breath. But anyway, check that out. Okay, let's go ahead and just lay them all across the table real quick. And uh, we're going to go from big to small, same way we just did it. And then we're going to go ahead and end this thing right here. You guys know how much I appreciate every single one of you. Without you guys, there is no what's the point EDC. Always remember that. And I appreciate all of you so much. I really do. I have my first channel member. That is an awesome milestone right there, and I appreciate it. Dwayne Letterman, shout out to you once again, dude. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this thing. You guys are awesome. I hope you enjoyed this. This is six knives that pair together awesomely. I think you can't go wrong with them. What are your six that you would pair together? And if you do content, put a video out. Let's see what you got. I got way more coming than just this. This is part one of like a 10-part series coming now. So hang in there, my peeps. If you're an addict, never quit quitting. Stay strong and live long. If you're struggling with bad thoughts, reach out and talk to somebody. It is okay to talk. Never quit quitting and never give up. You know the motto. Take it easy and stay greasy. I'm going to keep bringing you guys good vibes and sharp knives. You know what time it is. Peace. Huh.